video will try to verify the basic role-based access control views with a basic example here. So like in this example, I'm going to configure the views by using local authorization. So I'm going to create a custom view with a name called L1 engineer. And of course the password is engineer123, let's say. And I want this level one engineer should be assigned with the specific commands like ping, trace, whatever you see there. And then I'm going to create a user account with the user one. And then I'm going to associate this level one engineer uh, view with that particular user. And then we'll be verifying from the router two by using telnet option or maybe telnet from the PC for testing purpose. Now to make this possible, uh, the configuration wise, these are the specific commands we need to add on the router one. So the first thing, always make sure that we create an admin account with a privilege level of 15. So this is something recommended because you, you don't want to lock yourself because if you assign a privilege level and you enable some authentication authorization on, on the VTB lines and you don't want to restrict yourself in general. And after that, we are going to enable the triplet, start the triplet process. And then I'm going to use the default option, default option ensures that it is automatically enabled on the VTY and the console lines. So which means I don't need to go and enable the authentication authorization if I use the default option. Of course, I can use any other name like CCI, but if you're using any other name for the list of authentications, so I'm just using only local, we need to go to VTY line and enable this. Like the commands are like line VTY is equal to four. Triple A, we need to say login authentication and the name of the list and we need to say authorization exec the name of the list so i don't want to apply it on the video lines but if you are using any other name uh, if you're using um, name instead of the default option we need to enable on the video lines and then we are going to create a views and to create the views we will be using something like these are the commands so parcel views but before i create the views let me just quickly uh, show you some basic options first like on the router one, if I want to create a view, first I should be, I, sh I should be present in the root view. So currently I'm not in the root view. So in order to go into the root view, we need to give a command called enable view. So we generally say enable. And if I just say enable, you go to the normal mode, but we have to say enable view. So, but the prerequisite to log into the root view is you must have enable password configured. I think I don't have enable password configured, so let me go and configure enable password. Let's say NOA, just NOA. And then I'm going to enable the triplet. So these are the two prerequisites for to log into the root view. And once I log into the, and now I can go and say enable view. I can enter the enable password. And once I enter the enable password, if you want to verify, we can use a command called show parcel view. It shows that the current view is the root. So you must log into the root view before you make any changes as I discussed in the earlier, earlier videos. So now you can create a new view, but before I create a new view, I just want to create one user account with a privilege level of 15 so that I, I don't want to lock myself. So admin123 is the password. So enable the triplet and then I'm going to enable the triplet option. So I got these commands in the notepad so I can use a copy paste from the notepad itself. These are the commands. Okay. So I've enabled the authentication by using the local option and also the authorization for EXCC is enabled with the default local uh, for the using the local authorization now the next thing is we need to create a user account but before i create a user account i'm going to create a view called parser view and the name of the view is like the parser view here and already i'm into the root view so you must log into the root view first before you you create any views so parser view and then any password you can assign to this and after that, we need to define the commands. So the define the commands are more like uh, we do in the normal IBIS. We can say command exec. So additionally, we have an option of include and exclude. So we can simply say include all show commands. So when I say include all show commands, means automatically it will include all the show commands. So we don't need to specifically go and say 
going to define each and every individual show command. If I say include all router level commands, it will allow you to include all the router commands like router OSPF, router EHR, PE, router BGP like that. And let's say if you want to add any specific commands like accept, we can, we can again go and add uh, saying that include exclude um, exclude we can say router BGP so it will include all the router commands except this command so as I discussed the privilege this views allows you to give uh, it actually allows uh, you to assign the specific commands in a more better and a flexible way so there's an advantage so at this point of time I'm just going with the very basic commands I'm not using those advanced options but I'll be using those options in the later on uh, examples so at this point of time, I just want to assign the basic ping commands, trace. These are basic commands in the EXEC mode. So let me just quickly copy paste these things. Now, you can always use question marks. So let's say if you are inside this view, you can always use question marks. So most of the command configuration will be based on uh, similar to previous levels. We use include exclude options. So for testing wise, we need to associate this view with the user. So we didn't do that. So we need to go and configure, uh, create a user account. So let me just go and create a user account here. Username, uh, user one, and the view, we need to associate the view. And the name of the view is level one engineer. That's a view name and the password, let's say the user one. So I'm using the password. And for testing wise, you can you can do two ways. Either you can uh, log in with the user account and verify the configuration, that is one way. Or you can simply switch the view. So let me show you first switching the views. Like if you want to switch the views to test, just to confirm before I go ahead. So I'm going to say enable view, but I want to log into this view, switch to this view. And the password, the password whatever I have used here so that's my password so once you give the correct password if you want to check in which view we are so we can say show parser view so the current view is level 1 engineer and you can see I, I cannot go to the global concentration mode because as per this view I cannot use any of the config level commands so I can still use specific commands like I can still ping to router 2 let's say the router two. I can still use trace. I can still use show running config to see the configurations, but I cannot use show startup configurations because that command is not defined. Or it's not included in these views. So I can still use show IP interface brief. I can use show version, but I cannot use show flash. I can still use the show flash here. So the show flash commands are allowed by default here as for this uh, configurations here. Now you can either test this way or you can even go to router 2 or you can use a putty. I can go to my computer and I can tell it to my router to log in with my specific user. Now this time I'm using user 1 and, and you can see I can I can use the specific commands like show run I can still use I can still use swipe interface brief so now again the user when when you say enable of course if you know the enable password you can still go to the next mode because this is based on the privilege levels again but currently uh, I'm, I'm, I can verify with a command called show parser view this command should work and I can you can see you are currently assigned with the, the current view with a level 1 engineer and you can actually use all the commands specific specifically mentioned in this in this view so now to test either you can switch the views or you can use a specific user account to log in by using a telnet or ssh and you can verify the same 